Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. So guys, in today's video, basically we'll be updating the record detail page or I would say related list if a record gets changed in Lightning Web Component. So guys, if you're following my videos, then few weeks back, I have created a video in which I have used the force refresh view from Aura in Lightning Web Component to just refresh a view in Lightning Web Component. But uh, I would say that was just a workaround. That was not the best practice suggested by Salesforce. So what is the best practice suggested by Salesforce is to use get record notify change instead. Okay. So guys using the get record notify change, it, it is basically a UI record API. And in that you just have to pass the list of record IDs that needs to be updated. Okay. And here I would like to mention one thing like in my opinion, this is the upgraded version of the force record, sorry, force refresh view, what we, what we are having in Aura because uh, what the force refresh view will do, it will just refresh the uh, record added page or related list. It will just refresh the complete screen. Instead of, uh, instead of that, uh, if we will use this get record notify change, so we can just refresh those specific records in which, you know, we recently made the changes. So I would say this is basically an upgraded version of that force refresh view from Aura. Okay. So in today's video guys, I'll be creating an example in which I'll be using this get record notify change and I will be passing the record IDs in it and I'll be updating basically those records only in a specific related list. Okay. So let's start today's video guys. I'm Kapil, your host and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right, guys, so I have already created an example for this get record notify change. Okay, this is basically UI record API through which we can update. It will basically, uh, I would say, advanced version of that uh, refresh view, the Aura one. Okay, so uh, the word I'm using advanced version, it is because like you can not only refresh the current record page, but you can also pass a list of all record IDs you have added or you have updated okay so basically force refresh view was refreshing the whole page where get record notify change is only refreshing the record you ask him to refresh okay so if your apex course is having some instance update to the parent record but some child records as well so you may have to pass the pass get record notify change all the ids updated by your apex method and if you see, so this actually makes sense because when you think about it, so in LWC, we are trying to make, make everything a little more faster uh, or I would say lightning fast. So everything has been done uh, here with performance in mind. Okay, because whatever you are creating, whatever you are building, the functionality should be fast enough. Okay, so updating only a subset of record instead of the whole page will always be faster. I mean, of course, I mean, instead of refreshing the complete page, which can have, I would say multiple related list. Okay. This actually does not make any sense. I mean, if you're updating a single record, let's say if I'm on an account record and I'm just updating my child contact in it. Okay. Then I don't have to refresh the complete page to get the update. I can just pass that specific ID and I can just update that specific part of it. Okay, so that is basically, I would say, benefit of this get record notify change. And that this is the reason why I'm calling it an upgraded version of that uh, force refresh view or one thing. Okay, there's only one thing where get record notify changes is not good over the aura thing, the refresh view thing, is that like you won't be able to bring new records to the local cache. Let's say uh, if you have created a new contact from the account detail page or account record page. So if you will call the force refresh view, so it will just refresh the complete view and it will just show you the new contact that has been created recently. But using the get record notify change, you can refresh the existing contact in the related list, but you won't be getting the new contact that has been created right now. Okay. So for that, you have to do a hard refresh maybe yep so that is the only thing which i which i personally feel is not i mean perfectly working the way it should work 
because I think at least I mean if we can have functionality like where we can refresh a specific thing let's say instead of a record why can't we just refresh a specific related list so maybe you know that would help you but anyways guys let me share the example with you okay so this is my account record and in my this account record I have created a data table okay and underneath that and on the right side as well I'm having the related list of contact okay so in this data table basically we'll be having few contacts and those contacts will be having inline editing function all right and using that inline editing we'll be just trying to update the first name or maybe last name of the contact record and then we will see if it is if it is getting updated on the related list also okay so let's create some new contacts first so for testing purpose i will be just creating two contacts here okay so this is my test case one and let's create one more okay so here i'm having two contacts test case one and test case two and if you'll notice the contact has been updated in the related list as well okay so now reload the page to see them in the database sorry in the data table yep so here are our contacts okay so right now i'm having that get record change get record notify change in my functionality so let me just remove it for a second and show you the output of it okay let's reload the page to have the latest changes okay so now if i will try to update the last name of this contact let's say if i make it three and save it so if you will notice in the related list the it is still showing the old data so basically i mean uh, it will not get refreshed automatically okay but if i will reload the page so it will be having the latest or the recent data you can see the test case 3 the test case 3 here okay now after implementing this current record notify change here okay let's deploy it quickly yep all right now let's try to update it let's make it two again okay so i'm updating the last name i'm making it two again from test case three to test case two okay now if you will notice the related list value okay so see so the related list has been updated or i would say that specific record uh, which was having the id inside this cat record notify change uh, is being updated here okay we are not refreshing the complete related list we are just refreshing a specific record maybe i mean if you need to refresh complete list as well you may just pass all the ids uh, from the list to this cat record notify change but in my case i'm just passing a single record id that is you know uh, that is getting updated by user just to update the related list as well okay so this is the functionality now let me show you how you can implement it okay so this is my component guys the component is contact for account so basically we'll be getting list of contact related contact for account so on the html part if you will notice so this is just a basic data table i would say so let's skip this part and anyways by skipping it i'm just not explaining it in video but definitely i mean in the blog you will be having this code as well okay let's go to javascript so in javascript guys first of all i'm having a function to get the contact in from the contact controller okay this this is just a basic function in which we are just refresh we are just retrieving the contacts underneath that we are having refresh effects because we need to refresh the data table as well to show the recent data okay now let me show you the good part which is the update contact function in which we are just updating the contact by passing the ids 
and get record notify chain. So you just have to import it from the UI record APIs. Okay. So now let me explain it to you. So here I'm just creating the data table. Okay. So this is still the same basic part from LWC. I have just made these two fields editable. So I have just uh, make it inline editable here. Okay, and here I'm having the record ID columns. Okay, and here I am uh, I'm binding that method. Uh, so basically, I, I have created a wired function here to get the contacts using the record ID. Okay, now what I'm doing uh, to trigger the cat notify record change, I'm I'm having it on my handle save which is basically the save buttons click okay you just have to make sure like it should be a, a sync process because it is going to run in the back end so i mean that's what was mentioned on the official document i will share the official document link as well in the description below so the function needs to be a sync here okay and in that function basically you have to prepare a set of record ids which needs to be passed in the get record notify change function okay so the easiest way to do it could be let's say if you are updating contacts or maybe if you are updating uh, accounts okay so after updating accounts you may return a list of ids you may return a set of ids to the to back to that function and in that function you can just you know create a set of record ids like this okay so basically here i'm using the row id the id of the row which is being updated or edited okay and here for testing purpose i am only just printing the record ids let me show it to you here as well so for my last action this is the record id you see there's only one record id so that's why only that specific record is getting updated if you want to update multiple records then you may pass multiple record ids here and even though if you would like to update child records also, let's say if I'm creating an account and I would like to update contacts as well, okay, or my functionality is updating contact record as well. So you can just pass contact IDs here. So it will be basically refreshing the data or refreshing the view, I would say, for contacts as well. Okay, so underneath that, I'm calling my update contact here, okay and this is just a success message this is still the basic functionality and here's the get record notify change so here i'm just passing my notify change ids basically which is a list of ids you can have multiple ids here and after that i'm of course refreshing the data table because we need uh, recent data there as well okay so guys that was the functionality for this get record notify change just you have to just make sure you use a sync here okay and don't forget to import this get record notify change here so yep that's it and uh, the only thing which is missing is to refresh the complete view which is not possible in this get record notify change which was available in the in that uh, force refresh view thing okay so basically the thing is it it is not going to retrieve the new record okay so that's the thing which is missing here okay and uh, that's it for today guys uh, i hope you like today's video if you like today's video a subscribe to the channel will be awesome and i'll be having the complete code of this in which i'll include this js i'll include html as well and also i will include my apex which is con contact controller here it is so in this from this you may just use this get contact and update contact function here okay these are the two functions i'm using i'm using in that lightning web component okay so you may use that as well i'll be having these uh, these three things the apex javascript and html on my blog also so if you need the complete code do check out the blog and feel free to modify the code as per requirement Alright guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that it is for today. I'll see you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching.